So a few months ago, I did a video on 50 BMG rat shot, and we found out that this stuff right here is pretty devastating. One target we did not shoot was a zombie torso. All right, here we go, 50 BMG rat shot. Oh, oh, blew him in half. had one too many Twinkies. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we're gonna see just how lethal rat shot can be. So what is rat shot? Well, they're also known as shot shells. These are made for handguns. This one in particular is 45 Colt. You can see it has a little plastic cap and it's filled with little lead pellets like a shotgun. This is actually number eight shot and it's used for stuff like snakes, rats, and other pests. But would it make a good self-defense option? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. I have our volunteer here. This is a ballistic dummy lab zombie torso. These have lifelike bones, organs, and this one has been zombified with green blood. Today, I have a wide variety of rat shot. We're gonna start with the smallest and work our way up to the biggest and see what effect we have here on Mr. Zombie. Yeah! All right, well, we're gonna start out with 22 long rifle. This is number 12 shot. That is 31 grains, and I'm gonna be using a Smith & Wesson Victory 22. That is just so small. Like, I don't think this is gonna do anything. And just for reference, I'm about five yards back. Here we go. <laughs> Those are some tiny little wound channels. So look right here, they barely even made it in. Those are just like almost on the surface. Oh, those flattened out on the sternum. <laughs> 22 long rifle was not very impressive, but I'm really excited to see what this one does. This is 22 Magnum. So this is 52 grains of number 12 shot, and I'm gonna be using a kel PMR 30. So judging from the results we have from the 22 long rifle rat shot, it has me wondering, is this even good for actual rats. So I found this rat here over there rummaging around and we're gonna take a shot at him with the 22 Magnum first, then we'll shoot Mr. Zombie here. What do you think about that, Mr. Rat? <laughs> he doesn't seem too excited. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see how Mr. Rat's doing. Okay. He took several pellets to the side here and I, I don't think he's gonna make it. What's that? Uh -huh. His dying wish is that you'll hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. So now we're gonna take another shot, but this time at Mr. Zombie and I can already tell the 22 Magnum is gonna do more because some of these pellets hit him in the face and they're in there fairly deep. Okay, 22 Magnum, here we go. Well, um, all right, I thought they were gonna go deeper, but they look about the same. There is not much difference there. There is some more in his sternum. 22 Long Rifle and 22 Magnum were not very effective. So now we're gonna step it up to nine millimeter. This is number 12 shot and that is 53 grains and I'm gonna be using a Glock 17. This doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna scoot up just a tad for this one. I'm gonna go for his left shoulder. Here we go. Ooh, okay. That one had a little more pop to it. That actually cycle the slide also. That's one problem with this rat shot is a lot of times it's not producing enough force to cycle the slide and eject the casing. But that one actually cycled the slide. So now I'm kind of curious if we could get multiple shots with that one. Right here is where we hit with the nine mil and it's a lot more concentrated. And you can see that those pellets actually went quite a bit deeper than the 22. Wow. Well then. Some of these bigger ones may actually do some damage. So now I have five rounds of the nine mil rat shot. Let's see if it'll actually cycle these. 
Oh, it did two. Wow. That is really surprising to me. I cannot believe that it actually cycled those. So up next, we're gonna step it up to the 40 Smith & Wesson. This is 88 grains of number nine shot, and I'm gonna be using a Smith & Wesson model 610. All right, let's even out his shoulder, shall we? That number nine shot definitely looks like it went a little deeper on this side. That's some fairly decent penetration. Looks like the 9mm did a little more surface damage, but I think the 40 penetrated just a little bit deeper. You know, 40 Smith & Wesson is actually pretty powerful. I'm really surprised it didn't blow the zombie clean in half. But if that one didn't, I'm sure the old 45 can get the job done. This is my Iver Johnson Zombie Fied 1911, and it's, uh, it's pretty terrifying. I'm gonna be loaded up with 45 ACP rat shot. That's number nine shot and it's 120 grains. Okay, I'm gonna go for the belly button. That actually cycled the slide. Pretty surprised about that. Look at this. We actually have sprung a leak. That went pretty deep. Wow. wow. Surprisingly, 45 ACP had some knockdown power. Now let's find out what happens when we use 357 Magnum. This is my brand new Rossi RM66 357 Magnum revolver. It has a six inch barrel and it holds six rounds, double action or single action. It's pretty sweet. I'm gonna be loaded up with the 357 Magnum rat shot. That is 100 grains of number nine shot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. That almost made it into his lungs. Not quite, but almost. I mean, it is like right there. It is like touching the ribs. So I'm kind of surprised right now. It seems like the 45 ACP rat shot penetrated deeper than the 357 Magnum. So our next step up is gonna be 44 Magnum. This is 140 grains of number nine shot and I'm gonna be using a Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum Airlight PD. We go for his neck. How about that? Right under the chin. Here we go. Ooh. Forty-four Magnum rat shot to the neck would not feel good. And trust me, I know what it feels like to get hit in the neck. I don't know if my thumbs would be tiny enough for these holes though. It looks like we made it all the way to the bone in there. We almost made it all the way through. So now we're starting to make it to the bigger calibers. Up next is 45 Colt. That is 150 grains of number nine shot. And I'm gonna be using my extra long Derringer. This is my Colbray or Ducktown, whatever you want to call it, Derringer chambered in 45 Colt, and it has a 10 inch barrel. It's a Derringer, but not exactly. You gotta have really big pockets. This thing's kind of uncomfortable to shoot. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, okay, um, those still did not seem to do a whole lot. They have hit the ribs here and kind of smushed. Some of them did make it a little deeper, but I'm just starting to think that this number nine shot doesn't have enough weight to really penetrate deep enough. Up to this point, the rat shot has been pretty impressive, but I think we can do better. I don't know if you know this, but they make rat shot for the 500 Magnum. This is my Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum with an eight and three eighths inch barrel. And I'm sure you notice it looks a little funny and that's because it's missing its muzzle brake. And that's because it is way safer to shoot rat shot out of a gun that does not have a muzzle brake. So we have two options when it comes to the 500 Magnum rat shot. The first is number nine shot and that is 320 grains. And next is number four rat shot and that is 190 grains. Good luck, buddy. I think Mr. Zombie's gonna feel this one. Ooh.
Okay, well, I can't really tell exactly where all those pellets hit, but I do know where at least one hit, and that's right here. Made it in there fairly deep. Other than that, I don't think the number nine shot out of the 500 Magnum did a whole lot more. So I expect this number four shot to do a little more damage because they're bigger pellets. I'm gonna do two shots, one to the upper and one to the lower. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, that definitely had a little more pop to it. Now let's go down here. Oh. Okay, I feel like I do see the bigger pellets in there. Down here for sure. So it's kind of hard to tell where these new pellets are hitting. So I'm gonna take this guy. Uh, uh, he's stuck to the table. Come on now. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh. We're gonna turn him around. He's got a nice fresh side here. Let's take a few more shots with the 500 Magnum. Okay, so I'm gonna take one shot right here from about five yards and then I'm gonna scoot up. I'm using the number four shot. Here we go. Ooh, okay, yeah, I definitely see where those hit. That's, um, that's pretty good. Yeah, that one's touching the spine. That went pretty deep. Now I'm gonna take a shot from about right here and I'm gonna go for the ribs. All right, in this case, it looks like closer is better. <laughs> that's that's uh, some damage there. Oh, okay, yeah. If you look right in here, you can see that it actually broke the ribs. Those are broken. Judging from that, I can most definitely say that the 500 Magnum Rat Shot is indeed the most powerful of these Rat Shots, but I do have one more Rat Shot for today's video, and it's quite a bit bigger. So a few months ago, I did a video on 50 BMG Rat Shot, and we found out that this stuff right here is pretty devastating. We shot several different targets, but one target we did not shoot was a zombie torso. So today I'm really excited to see what happens when we blast Mr. Zombie with the almighty 50 BMG rat shot. You will also notice that I now have the Serbu RN50 back. My neck is tingling just holding it. It snapped in half when I shot the world's biggest 50 BMG rounds through it. But I sent it over to Mark Serbu and he patched it back up for me. So I'm gonna get this thing set up in the lead sled and I'm gonna get it positioned to where the rat shot should hit somewhere in here. And I'm gonna get back and pull a string. A few moments later. Put this inside our trigger. Now we'll pull the hammer back. Okay, we look pretty good. All right, here we go, 50 BMG rat shot. Oh, 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 it blew him in half. BMG rat shot. craziest thing that 50 bmg rat shot is ridiculous look at this it's melted it melted him look oh oh wow okay a new 50 bmg rat shot was pretty lethal but uh whoa. i'm gonna go with it's pretty up there so i'm gonna go ahead and say those were some pretty good results i am very impressed with the 50 bmg rat shot but you know, we need to do it one more time, just to be sure. So I'm gonna turn this table sideways and I'm gonna aim the 50 BMG at this area right here. Okie dokie, here we go. Rat shot number two. Rat shot number two.
Holy smokes! Wow. Just wow. We have shot these zombie torsos with a lot. And the only other thing that I've seen do that to a zombie is the 577 Tyrannosaur with a 650 grain lead round. But I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that that was more devastating. Okay, you know, the video really should be over after that. But I brought one more 50 BMG rat shot and I kind of want to scoot up really close and maybe put it right there and really guarantee that I'm going to have to clean my rifle. Let's get this thing loaded back up. Last one. I want to go like even with it, but it's kind of hard to set up. So I think this will do. All right. Last shot. was insane look at this dude okay yeah i think yeah. all the way over here it smells so bad that's that's it i that's it 50 bmg rat shot hands down takes the crown for most brutal round we have ever fired at a zombie torso. That is just absolutely insane. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think about the 50 BMG rat shot? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. <laughs>